The Winchester's favorite angel is as hilarious as he is naive. It actually means you uh, breed with the mouth of a goat. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 funniest Castiel moments on Supernatural. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be going over some of the most hilarious moments from the angel Castiel on the TV show Supernatural. This isn't funny, Dean. The voice says I'm almost out of minutes. Okay. Because some of these moments occur near or during important plot points, there may be spoilers ahead. Number 10. Interrogating a cat Deciding he wants to be a hunter of the supernatural, like his friends the Winchester brothers, Castiel helps them find an unusual case. While questioning a confused elderly woman at a care facility, she tells the trio that their cat talks sometimes, and it seems to hate a mouse. Cass takes this completely seriously, volunteering to interrogate the feline. Well, there's the cat. The cat? When Dean and Sam are ready to leave, Castiel claims to have nearly gotten the cat to tell him what it knows, but the boys insist on leaving. Cass, let's go. I've almost cracked him. The real capper is the cat really speaking as he leaves. Hey, I'm not through with you. Dumbass. Number 9. FBI Badge On a similar subject, with Sam and Dean taking some time apart from one another, Castiel enlists Dean's help in finding the Archangel, Raphael. It's not God, it's someone else. After discovering the aftermath of the Angel's battle with demons, the two of them pose as FBI agents, as the Winchesters are prone to do. However, Cass is significantly less experienced with acting, and lying in general, than they are. From holding his badge upside down, to telling the officer they interview the truth about what happened. Any idea what set him off? It's angels and demons, probably. They're skirmishing all over the globe. Come again? What did he say? Nothing. Demons. Nothing. Demons. Castiel's inability to play the part is rather adorable. Number 8. Doesn't understand that reference. After an angel assassin is sent back in time to kill their parents, Sam and Dean turn to Castiel for a similar trip back to the past to stop it from happening. And I can't get to you because of me. So she's going after them. Take us back right now. And deliver you right to Anna. However, Castiel reveals that since he's on the outs with heaven, that sending them to the past will be difficult for him. Dean likens him to a DeLorean without enough plutonium, a la Back to the Future. But Castiel flat out tells him, I don't understand that reference. Castiel's cluelessness about pop culture is one of his more endearing and funny qualities, and this moment helps sum it up perfectly. Number 7. Off His Rocker Season 7 sees Cass somewhat worse for wear, as after going full villain, he returns out of sorts. Yes. I remember you. More on that later. For now, let's focus on his reunion with Crowley, the demon whom he once partnered with. When the new King of Hell arrives at Bobby's place to spar with the Winchesters, and maybe help them, the demon tries to do the same with Castiel, only to be taken aback when Cass starts rambling randomly about insects and honey, leaving the witty villain nearly speechless. What do you have to say for yourself? Well, I'm still uh, honing my communication strategy. You know, I haven't even been back to heaven. I, I keep thinking there are no insects up there, but here we have trillions. You know, they're making honey and silk and... Miracles, really. What are you talking about? The only thing that might have put him off more would be if Cass offered to play Twister with him. Nobody cares that you're broken, Cass. Clean up your mess. You know, we should play Twister. Number six, Baby in the Trench Coat. While hunting for the mother of monsters, Eve, the Winchesters, Bobby, and Castiel track their quarry to Oregon. Stopping at a diner, Castiel offers to search the town for her using his angel powers. I'll search the town. Give me a moment. Which let him move quickly through teleportation. However, instead of vanishing, he remains seated in the booth. Dean is incredulous that Cass has been rendered impotent by Eve, figuratively. Wait, mom's making you limp? Figuratively, yes. And tells him that without his powers, he's just a baby in a trench coat. Instead of replying, Cass turns and looks out the window in silence, pouting in a very funny way. Thank you, artist feelings. Number five, meeting Loopy Cass. I'm Emmanuel. We've talked about Castiel's Loopy period before, but its beginnings offer some of the funnier material. 
Having taken on Sam's memories of hell, Cass is now in a mental hospital due to how much his mind has been damaged from the experience. His conversation with Sam and Dean when they meet him again veers wildly between topics, though animals are a common theme, and his delivery is absolutely hilarious. Outside today, in the garden, I followed a honeybee. I saw the rout of flowers. It's all right there, the whole plan, there's nothing to add. Loopy Cass leaves quite a funny impression. <laughs> Though not quite as impactful as the one he leaves on poor Kevin Tran. You're one of the angels? Boop. Number four, future Cass. Continuing the theme of Castiel acting out of his usual character, Dean finds an unusual version of his angelic friend after another winged messenger sends him into a possible version of the future. In this post-apocalyptic world, Dean meets a depowered human Castiel who has become something of a hippie, engaging in hedonistic activities like orgies and drugs. Oh, it's surprisingly physical. Oh. Excuse me, ladies, I think I need to confer with our fearless leader for a minute. Why not go get washed up for the orgy? Seeing the usually high-strung or overly serious cast relaxed and playing the love guru is an absolute blast. I wish I could just uh, strap on my wings, but uh, I'm sorry, no dice. <laughs> what are you, stoned? Uh, generally, yeah. It's a shame it took the end of the world for us to see it, though. Very nice timing, Cass. We had an appointment. Don't ever change. Number three, being drunk. After Castiel's faith in God has been shaken in the previous episode, Sam calls on Castiel for help, literally, on his phone. Love his voicemail message, by the way. You've reached the voicemail of... I don't understand. Why, why do you want me to say my name? However, the angel has taken his lost faith harder than even most humans. Are you... Drunk? Although many people turn to alcoholism after a crisis, few of them can handle the volume that Cass does. What the hell happened to you? I found a liquor store. And? And I drank it. As it turns out, despite how nice he usually is, Cass is actually kind of a mean drunk. And his drunken and hungover outbursts are pretty dang amusing. Here you go. <laughs> Easy. Are you okay? Don't ask stupid questions. Number two, the pizza man. For being a millennia old being of celestial intent, Castiel can be surprisingly innocent about a lot of things, such as the case when he discovers porn. While watching it in the same room as Sam and Dean, which is a definite faux pas, Cass is puzzled by the plot, wondering why the pizza delivery man would spank the cheerleader if he loves her. If the pizza man truly loves this babysitter, why does he keep slapping her rear? This is made even funnier when the demon Meg kisses him later in the episode to take his angel blade, and Cass responds enthusiastically, citing the pizza man as the one he learned it from. What was that? I learned that from the pizza man. Classic. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Why's it always gotta be me that makes the call, huh? It's not like Cass lives in my ass. The dude's busy. Cass, get out of my ass. I was never in your... Sam, Dean, my people skills are rusty. You had sex with April? Yeah, that would be where the hedonism comes in. <clears throat> so, did you have protection? I had my angel blade. I'm gonna become a hunter. Really? Yeah. I could be your third wheel. <laughs> no. No. In this town, I'm God. No, you're not. Believe me. We met God. God has a beard. Number one. Hey, ass butt. The climactic showdown of season five sees Michael and Lucifer confront one another, with their prophesized battle said to bring about the apocalypse. However, Team Free Will is there to rain on their parade, with Dean stepping in to let Sam know, whom Lucifer is possessing, that he won't abandon him. Sammy, can you hear me? 
In order to give them time to talk, though, Castiel and Bobby arrive, with Cass lobbing a holy oil Molotov cocktail at Michael to temporarily banish him, but not before uttering one of the funniest exclamations in the show's long history. You are no longer a part of this story. Hey, ass butt. Cass tries and fails so hard to sound cool that it loops back around into amazing territory. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.